What we want to do is we want to make a street plate of this culture. Okay. And the advantage of that is twofold. One is we can attempt to check the purity of this culture. If later on we can see that there are two different types of organism growing, mm -hmm. then we know it's contaminated. If all the colonies look similar when we look at the plate, then we can make a good guess that we've probably got a fairly pure culture there. Also, we can spread out the culture so that we get individual cells that grow, grow into colonies and then we can pick those colonies off and we can use them in projects. Okay. So, I believe that you've got a method of producing a streak plate yeah. and I've got a slightly different one. Okay, yeah. So I thought, let me have a look and see how you do yours and then I can have a look and see how that I was going to do mine. Okay, okay, so uh, before we start, I'm going to label my plate. Um, right. I have an issue here, cool eye plate. All ah, so right. I believe that I've got a different culture from you, so I'm yes. just going to label my plate first. First, okay, right. So we don't get them mixed up. Yep. I'm just labeling it just with the cool eye for now. Right. Um, and I just check that the lid is loose. Yeah. And my bottle, and then I start off by flaming my loop. Same as before, right. just making sure it gets nice and hot. Okay. okay. Right, hopefully that will have cooled down. Alright. Alright, just a flame with my bottle, with my bottle. Dragging my loop down the side, I'm just yeah. going to pick up just a loop full right. culture, yeah. flame it again and put the lid back on. Right, good. Now, I want to start off by making a well. So I'm right. going to pick up my plate and make a really deep well of right. culture. Really, really back and forth, back and forth. And just gently stroking it over the surface of the... Really, really gently. I'm being really careful over the not medium. to dig into the medium at all. It's very right. easy if you're, if you're too hard with it. And uh, by doing that, just gently crossing it, I've got a really, really deep well of culture there. Right. So I've sterilised my loop again. Yep. Now, when I look at the plate, I can actually see there's very, very light scratches right, on the surface. Right, yeah, can okay. you see that there? Yeah. And I'm now just going to drag my loop across the top. Yeah. Just three lines, picking right. it up at the end of each line. So always lifting before I put my loop back down. Right. I'm just going to, again, heat it up, make sure I kill off all the cells that are there. Right. And I'm going to go back again and do another three lines. Right. This time, being careful not to go anywhere near my original well. Right. Finding my three lines that are there. Yeah. Across it three times. Yeah. And what I'm doing is I'm diluting the culture each time. Right, so okay. Each time I'm flaming, I'm killing off everything that I've had on my loop. Right. And by going across only the, the three lines that I've done before, it's diluting the culture, culture. each time. Right. Okay. So you mentioned that the, the purpose is to obtain single colonies, and hopefully we'll get this effect. So this is my last time, and what we've got, last three lines, so just across that. Again, very careful not to dip into any of the lines previous, and I do a little zigzag across at the end. Oh, a lovely little flourish. Excellent. Right. Oh, wonderful. And I just finish off by just sterilising my loop, putting it back down to cool down, and I'll let you take, take over and show me what, what you do that's so different. Well, you? sometimes I'm working with pupils that are sort of 13, 14 years old. Sure. And we've talked to them about microbes being everywhere and they're in the atmosphere and cells are in the atmosphere and things are going to drop down. And what I feel is that sometimes you need to sort of say to them, well, just open the plate a little mm -hmm. so that you work underneath it rather than allow the cells to drop in. Because if you've had a pupil that's really listened to you and they say, oh, you said there were cells in the atmosphere, surely they're going to drop in. Yeah. So, OK. So what I do is I check the top's not too tight. I flame the loop just as you did to get it nice and red all the way down with a little bit of patience there and wait for it to cool down. Hold the top in my little finger, flame the neck. Run it down into the culture and just take a loop full of the organism. Now, I have a problem because it's not very easy to see what you're doing. Yeah. But here, I've cheated. You've got a little I, Yes, I've drawn it. So what I'm going to do is to put the plate on the top like that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to lift the lid a little bit and there, I'm going to make my well area. I'm just going backwards and forwards over that big blob that I made on the paper. I then sterilise the loop 
just as you did, running it through from the screw end first and ending up with the loop. Wait for it to cool. Mm -hmm. I, I keep my me, me hand quite low, low on the bench, quite relaxed. And then I just gently lift the lid. One, two, three. I draw that loop through the initial well and I just go across like that. And when I finished, I sterilize the loop. And of course it will be too hot to use, so I just wait for it to cool for a minute and I turn the plate. If I think it's still too hot to use, I would just touch it where I know nothing's going to grow. And then I draw across one, two, three. I sterilize the loop, wait for it to cool, mm -hmm. and Again, I just check that if it's just not too hot. If it's too hot, I get a nice hiss. Yeah. But the heat will have gone into where there's nothing growing. And then I just go one, two, three. Yeah. And I can allow it to, 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 I can allow it to sterilise again like this by holding it in the flame. And you finished with a flourish, didn't you? I did. So I was thinking I should, okay. okay. So check it's not too hot. And then I'm just going to finish with a flourish like you did there. Mm -hmm. Sterilise the loop to make sure that there's no culture left on the wire there. And then just put it down like that. Now, you labelled yours. So I better label mine as well. So I'm going to label it here. Um, Luteus. And I was also going to put my name okay. so that if it looks really good, everybody will know it's mine. If it looks rubbish, well, they can blame me. <laughs> but I'm sure it will look good. And then I'm also going to put the date. Um, the advantage of that is that if it's in the incubator or it's been left out for some time, people know how long it's been yeah. there. And if it's been there left for any length of time, if there's an, an added hazard associated with it being there. But that's all you really need microorganism, name, and the date. Now, of course, I was just thinking, we might use these in the prep room, mm -hmm. so that's okay. We've done them, we're looking after them. But if they're going back into the classroom, yeah. the kids might start wanting to open them, and it's safer if they don't. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of tape and just go over like that. A second little bit of tape a third of the way round, like that, over the base and the lid, and I'm going to go for three. And that will mean that when these go back out into the classroom and the kids can examine them, it's difficult for the lid to drop off. Yeah. They've got to force their way in. <laughs> but hopefully, most of the pupils we have, it won't be a problem. Okay. We now incubate these. Yeah. And what we'll do is we incubate them we're upside down, which is the right way up, with the medium at the top. And if there is any condensation or moisture that needs to con that will condense, it will condense back into the medium, yeah. and so we won't get a lot of liquid. Mm -hmm. Also, of course, if we get lots of cells growing, and we get it growing really well, then what will happen is the carbon dioxide, being slightly heavier than uh, nitrogen and oxygen, it will drop to the bottom okay. and we should get better growth mm -hmm. of our microorganisms. Great. So John, have you got any street plates or any contaminated street plates that you could show me? Well it's funny you should say that because I've got some cultures that I streaked out before. Excellent. If you look at this culture uh -huh. you can see that I've streaked it out and if you look very carefully you can see that round here we've got colonies and each one of those colonies has derived from a single cell. Right. And if you look very carefully here, you'll see they all look very similar in colour and size and we can make a good estimate that it's a, it's a pure culture. Okay. Whereas with this plate, where I've streaked this culture out, you can see that this culture is red. But there's a problem. If you look very closely, you can see in between the red colonies, some white colonies. And these white colonies have developed from a single cell. And that single cell is a contaminant. Right. So we've got a problem mm -hmm. with this culture.
If we want to keep this culture, which is the red culture, then we would have to select these colonies here, which are pure red, and grow them on. Mm -hmm. If we don't, then we might actually transfer the contaminants yeah. into the culture that we want to keep.